After Hurricane Dorian spent days battering the Bahamas, dozens were killed and buildings were destroyed. As News Channel 5 Cena Slim reports, Tennessee Air National Guardsmen are now using their technology to help people impacted by the devastation. At least 40 people have been killed by Hurricane Dorian in the Bahamas. The 118th wing is using their skill sets and products to assist responders. I've seen some of the imagery and I'm not sure I can find the words for it. In some places, there's nothing left. Nearly half of the island structures have been severely damaged or destroyed by Hurricane Dorian. It's an image that leaves Lieutenant Colonel Aaron Wilson at a loss for words. Without question, the survivors in the coming uh, weeks have a long road to recovery. The 118th wing is doing what they can to help using commercial satellite imagery and technology to discover safe routes from airfields to distribution centers, medical facilities. One of the things that our airmen are looking for is the hospitals. Schools. Right now this is uh, great, Abaco. We've got this image. We're looking at the flood areas right now. And even access to fresh water. So these dark areas on this image indicate flooding and everything that's red right now um, indicates like healthy vegetation. It's one thing to be able to get supplies and first aid into those airfields, but if we can't get it off the airfield to the isolated population, then we have to replan how we're going to get that aid distributed. So our products help decision makers be able to plan around that. The Tennessee Air National Guardsman is used to stepping up during hard times. They did it during both Hurricane Harvey and Maria, and now they're extending their training overseas. This is the first time that our products will actually be used in an international response uh, to the Bahamas and outside of the United States. Because as guardsmen, this is what they're trained to do, to answer the call for help. Sina Sleem, News Channel 5.